Hello everybody, this is the uh, long-awaited, uh, this is also a Twitch reward uh, that uh, Stephen or aka Serenity's Bane, my husband, had claimed and it is a game room slash uh, game collection tour and uh, you can see my setup and uh, some of the uh, the spare consoles that we have. We've got the, uh, the Sega Saturn there and uh, a, uh, a couple of spare Nintendos. Uh, we've got uh, the GameCube with the Game Boy attachment underneath it. Uh, the spare PS2, and uh, yeah, the the, uh, the Game Boy player, which is a little on the dusty side. I do apologise in advance. Uh, there's going to be some areas that are a bit dusty, but this is uh, this is basically my setup. So I have uh, an HDMI switcher. Um, I have a um, two compos uh, sorry component uh, switches as well uh, which has all my consoles uh, connected to it I also have uh, the uh, super slim ps3 uh, and there's my OSSC the OG Xbox and uh, Xbox 360 ps2 and Dreamcast and uh, here are a couple of games that uh, I've recently played on stream. I uh, completed uh, Countdown Vampires. This is the US version, so it's the more expensive one. And uh, you can see it's all uh, CIB, uh, which is which is awesome. It's 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 one of those really good bad games. And uh, we got the black label uh, copy of Legend of Dragoon, which the the case is a little bit damaged, like it doesn't close properly, but um, still in absolute fantastic condition. And I've uh, got the long box uh, Resident Evil. Just a couple of games that aren't on the shelves in uh, what you're going to see in a moment. And of course, we've got the fantastic. Yes, there was a Dino Crisis 3. It does exist, and uh, that is also a reward that you can claim for me to do a full playthrough of that, so save up your points. And we also have a copy of Silent Hill Shattered Memories for the PlayStation 2, which at the time was $29.99 new. I don't know where from, but again, this is in absolute mint condition. Um, I played that on stream a few times, and uh, I actually really enjoy it. So these, this, uh, this book has all of my discs in that uh, I, I couldn't, I couldn't bring over with me the uh, my games with the cases, so I had to put them all in this uh, CD, CD book thing, and so it's just all my uh, PS3 games. So into the uh, the living room or the main room, and uh, some of the boxes here that we we kept. And a friend of ours uh, got us a copy of uh, ET on the Atari. We do not own an Atari. Uh, these amiibos actually were our wedding cake toppers, the uh, Luigi and Daisy. And uh, here's some uh, some Japanese Super Famicom. Uh, uh, Mario games, uh, we've got some trinkets, some, some badges and just like little like key, key rings and uh, some Super Mario tissues, um, there's a Game Boy and a Game Boy uh, SP I think it was. Here's some of the, uh, the Game Boy games that we have. So uh, just sh showing you some of the games here.
and some of them Japanese as well. The biggest unanswered question is where is the ball coming? Yeah. 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 The biggest yeah. unanswered yeah. question yeah. is where yeah. is the ball coming? The biggest unanswered question is where is the money? All right, and on to the uh, NES and just some of the booklets and things that we have spare and just some uh, some stickers and, and stuff that we've collected and that we got from purchasing things from from places that we you know we got for free and, and stuff like that and again some more inserts and booklets and there's a Mega Man there, Mega Man Perla and there's some um, some cards there. there's a mixture of different cards but here are some of the games uh, that we have We also have some uh, CIB games, which and more cards there. And we've got the turtles. We've got the um, turtles two and three. So we've got one, two, and three. There's some more games there that's hidden behind them. We've got the uh, the Mega Man Perler that I did for uh, for Bane. The TMNT electronic game, but unfortunately the battery is going. It does work, but uh, didn't want to work today. And there's uh, Super Mario 3 complete in box. Very, very pristine condition. Absolutely amazing. And this, I love the fact that it's still got the KB Toys uh, sticker on it. And uh, this is also sealed.
There's some spare some spare covers that we have. There's some more um, CIB games that we've There's some more cards there as well, and some uh, some Nintendo coasters, which are are lovely. I just uh, we just don't want to use them. We don't want to ruin them. And there is Mega Man Three, um, complete in box, and that is uh, that's definitely very special. And some of our uh, SNES or SNES games. And here we have uh, Bart's Nightmare, which is uh, CIB. Again, that's in really good condition. Super Adventure Island, CIB, and there's a couple of others there, Wampum. And, and, drum roll, little Samson. This is actually, this is actually a retro pie that is uh, in a little Samson uh, repro case. That's so really cool, it's kind of, kind of tricky to have and kind of funny if, uh, Anyone that looks on the shelf and they see that and they're like, oh, you've got a little Samson's like, no. And there is uh, Mega Man X, which we also do have another copy of, so we have it loose as well as uh, CIB. And Lethal Weapon, because you need that in your collection. And onto the uh, the modern slash uh, all the other systems that we've got set up. So we've got the Wii, we've got the Switch there, we've got the uh, the PS3, we have the uh, PS Classic, we have the uh, Mega Drive slash Genesis Mini, and then we have um, this uh, this console that a friend of ours decorated. Um, uh, N64, we've got the Wii U, we've got the Genesis slash Mega Drive, a uh, Sega Master System, which is more mine than anything, and the 3DO there. And now we have our action figure collection. So, uh, Bane has been heavily, heavily collecting uh, and recollecting some, uh, some figures. There's the, um, the Donatello versus uh, Krang. Uh, box that I got him and the Resident Evil figures are the ones that I have and there's Leon in the back there. I actually have two Leons. There's Ada and an Ivy um, and uh, yeah there's the other Leon and that's also Claire with the uh, zombie. Um, I did have two of those. I had one that I opened and I kept one in the uh, in the box and behind Leon is Nosferatu from Code Veronica. You can't really, uh, can't really see him, and it's kind of awkward to move everything. But and 
there's some wrestling figures and those two Robocop figures um, actually Bane had got me them as a gift because I had them when I was a kid so that was also really cool to see. Uh, so it's uh, nice to have them in the collection but here's some of our wrestling figures mixed in with Power Rangers. And then onto the, uh, the probably the best collection is the uh, TMNT collection that we have. So a lot of the the old old figures, even figures that I had when I was younger, um, I ha I think I had that Splinter and I had um, that Donatello. That little guy at the front, he actually reminds me of a monster in my pocket which I used to collect uh, and I uh, was thinking about collecting those. I absolutely love those things. And then the bottom shelf is, again, it's, a, it's another mixed bag, it's mostly DC stuff, mostly Batman. Um, a lot of different Batman figures, and uh, Two-Face, and you've got Joker, and you've got Bob. Um, I actually used to have that Bob action figure when I was when I was younger as well, so some of these are like, are actually also a part of my, um, my childhood. There's some more boxed uh, figures there, some more TMNT, uh, Mortal Kombat and some Power Rangers, and we've got Wayne Manor, um, and uh, we've got another Batmobile, and there's the uh, the back, just in case you didn't see that shredder. Alright, so over here, we've got more figures, uh, these are more Resident Evil ones, and um, that's my uh, my resin my resin bust, my mini bust of uh, Nemesis, which I love, and then it's a uh, G4 Birkin uh, on the far right. I think it was G4. Um, N64 games. Uh, got Turok and um, Resident Evil 2, and uh, a couple of the uh, the box ones. We also have Conker's Bad Fur Day. some 3DO games and onto our PlayStation 2 collection nothing nothing too unique here um, that actually that Silent Hill 3 I think it is um, that case is actually the uh, the PAL case uh, you can tell because the uh, spine is very boring And the original Xbox, which two copies of uh, Indigo Prophecy or um, Fahrenheit, as I as I know it. Alright, and then this bottom shelf is a bit of a mixed bag, so there is... Recently I got as a gift Tomb Raider Unfinished Business, which is the like extra levels for Tomb Raider 1, and there's some of our PC games. And this is awesome as well, again this is another gift um, I wasn't expecting, it's actually Ghostbusters on the Amiga. And that has, has all the floppy disks in there, which I would love to play at some point. And again, some of our PC games, uh, Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines, uh, we've got a copy of Tomb Raider The Last Revelation, and there's a copy of Resident Evil 2. And uh, Seventh Guest, that's another one that I really like. 
a Nox as well. Nox is an interesting game. And here is the uh, the Japanese uh, console we have, and uh, some Japanese games and, and attachments and such. We do also have a Japanese N64, which I will show you at some point. And here are just some of the games that we have for it. We do have a uh, Zelda. And I believe we also have Mario 64. And here are our loose uh, Genesis games and uh, Alter Beasts Upside Down. Uh, some of the labels are a bit cruddy, but got uh, Gunstar Heroes there. Another another recent recent gift slash purchase is uh, Ultimate Doom. And there is the uh, the boxed version of Tomb Raider: The Last Revelation on PC. We have a Game Genie and Doom on the 32X. And Sonic and Knuckles, the classic. There's uh, some of our few uh, Sega Master System games, which again, um, I'm the only one really collecting for that because, and I'm just collecting, you know, the games that, that I grew up with. So I'm, I'm just missing a few, the few that would like to get back. And here are our boxed uh, Genesis slash Mega Drive games, and we do have a copy of um, Bloodlines. However, the uh, the box was pretty water damaged, so it's uh, it's a shame. And these are my Triple Triad cards. They're official SquareSoft. Final Fantasy VIII, uh, Triple Triad cards, which I would like to collect the whole set again, but a lot of the cards you're looking at anywhere between like five to twelve to fifty plus dollars a card. Some of the uh, these are some of the spill spilled over uh, PS1 games, as you'll see in a moment. The shelf is pretty full, so it's just a few extra there. And uh, Tomb Raider Chronicles on the Dreamcast. And there's some of our Dreamcast games as well. We do have a couple of Japanese ones. And there is uh, Sonic. 10th anniversary, which... These are some of the uh, the Dreamcast magazine demo discs, and uh, that actually was a random find uh, at a convention, at Atlanta Comic Con, uh, a couple of years ago. And uh, I just found them, and they were like a dollar, so I was like, "Yep, I'm getting that." And uh, Resident Evil on the Sega Saturn, and that is also pristine condition. There's some of our Saturn games and Sega CD games that. We don't, unfortunately, have a way of playing. Some fun ones, like Space Ace and Dragon's Lair. <laughs> Alright, 
right, and then the uh, the very crowded PlayStation 1 collection. Uh, we've got a copy of Tomb Raider 2, which is sealed. And we also have just a normal loose, uh, normal copy as well that isn't sealed, so I can play that. There's some of the games hidden behind the other games. Diablo, Sun Hill. And there's our Japanese copy of Resident Evil 2 or Biohazard 2. Have to do some shoveling around. There's some of the uh, the demo discs and some of the ones that you get with like uh, get from like Pizza Hut and stuff like that. And there is also a sealed copy of Tomb Raider 3. And here are the other consoles I mentioned: the Japanese N64. We've also got a Top Loader and. Um, Alright, and there's another another Nintendo, a um, couple of our DS games, and there's also the uh, the Game Boy Player. You need the disc and the thing for that to uh, to get it to work. And these are some of our GameCube games, which is a pretty pretty decent collection. It's it's getting more harder to uh, to get some of the games that we want. We recently picked up our copy of uh, Eternal Darkness. There's our Wii collection, and uh, that case has our Switch games, or Switch carts. And in here is uh, my other Game Gear, both of which don't work, but uh, some of the games, uh, Batman Returns was a game that uh, I only had like about three or four games with my Game Gear and that was one of them. Um, we also, you know, have Lion King and Sonic 2, that was another one that I grew up with. And I'm just missing Chuck Rock. And over here we also have a sleeve, uh, another booklet, another CD book of loose games. And they're in somewhat a uh, console order, so we've got PS1 games, and then eventually we'll go into uh, to PS2. There's our loose copy of Parasite Eve. We also have it complete in box. Uh, I recently found out that Parasite Eve Disc 1 uh, looks like it has some disc rot, and uh, unfortunately it won't play now, but uh, the, uh, the, the CIB one does. Then we go on to PlayStation 3 and OG Xbox, which we have loose and multiple box copies of uh, GTA. There's a couple of loose Wii games and some more demo discs. And a couple of loose GameCube games as well. And some odd PC games. And in here is just all of our modern console games that we have. So all the more modern ones. Got the PS3 collection, or at least the boxes. And there's some some more down at the bottom. There's uh, some PC games as well as some soundtracks. And uh, this is interesting. I haven't tested to see if the code's been used, but you you can get a digital copy of uh, RE2 and 3, I think it is, that comes with that anthology. There's some, uh, some of our 360 games. Some more uh, PS3 and 360. And some spare cases. Switch games, PS4, Xbox One. AKA the uh, paperweight. 
And uh, here's just a little bonus. Uh, so I got uh, I got Bane some uh, some Mortal Kombat bookends, which holds a couple of magazines as well as some VHS tapes. And these are just some of the strategy guides that we have. I think we have all of the Tomb Raider game strategy guides now, and um, some some cool stuff here. Some some comics and graphic novels. And these two, um, those are the TMNT Tops cards, which actually my brother, uh, my brother did those. And that is it. So uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And uh, let me know in the comments if, uh, if you spotted anything that uh, that caught your eye, that you may have played when you were younger. I would uh, love to hear it. And uh, thank you again. And I stream on Twitch. Uh, very regularly. Uh, it's uh, twitch.tv forward slash geek etiquette and I play a lot of lot of retro stuff, uh, do speedrunning and I also nine times out of ten will play on original hardware so be sure to check it out and you take care of yourselves and stay safe.